Hi everyone, my name is Lee Sankey and today I'm going to be talking about harmonica vibrato, in particular the kind of sweet vibrato associated with players like Sonny Boy Williamson II, um, Kim Wilson, people like that. And um, lots of great information on YouTube about playing the harmonica. Um, vibrato has been covered and I just want to add my particular take on this particular technique. I hope you find it uh, useful. So. Harmonica vibrato can be produced in lots of different ways. Um, you can check it out on people's uh, channels like Adam Gusso, Jason Ritchie. And quite often it's explained by throat vibrato, that's the most uh, common technique, we always use that. But there are different ways of producing it using the diaphragm. Um, some people move the harmonica around in their hands. So the most common sound that we hear will be sing using that throat vibrato. That's lipped. And it's tongue blocked. So that's produced by going and there's a lot of information as I said on YouTube about doing that. Now when you come to bend using that technique it produces um, more of a choking sound. William Clark uses that at the end of his kind of song. Um, but the sweetest sound that you get with people like Sonny Boy Williamson or Ken Wilson uses a different type of technique, or I certainly use a different technique, um, which is principally what I'm going to talk about today. So I'm using uh, an A harp, and I'm playing cross position and first position today. And um, the sound um, that I'm talking about uses the jaw and the lips or the tongue, depending on whether you're um, lipping or tongue blocking, to produce um, a different kind of vibrato. So the throat vibrato <coughs> is in some senses tremolo, it's not really vibrato. So you're turning the air on and off very rapidly. So vibrato really is a variation in pitch. That's what we're looking for. So a good way of thinking about this is um, with guitar players. So if you think about a guitar player producing um, a singing note with that tremolo BB King style vibrato, they're actually moving the string up and down, which produces that variation in pitch, which really makes the note sing. So sorry to use a guitar analogy on a, on a harmonica. Uh, uh, tip video but um, that's a good way of thinking about it. So as you bring the reed down on a bend you're kind of choking the air that's why it doesn't sound so sweet where what we're trying to do is move the note down and really massage it and produce that slight variation in tone. So I'll give you an example of, of what I'm talking about say coming up to the, the, the turnaround the classics of Sonny Boy Williamson turn around using that three draw. Yeah. So that note is the kind of vibrato I'm talking about. So you're actually massaging the note and getting a variation in pitch. So what am I doing there? Well, you can do it um, using your lips or tongue blocking. So um, lips, it would be la, la. tongue block. La, la. So it really doesn't matter whether you play one way or the other. And if you look from, if I play from the side, la, la, la. so I'm still keeping my throat open, but I'm moving my jaw, my lips to produce um, a bend, an ac accurate bend, up and down but very fast. Now as you learn this technique you can really bring it in and um, play around with the notes. It gives you a lot of control to go fast and slow. So you can... So um, it's much harder to do that with 
throat vibrato. Well, I, I find that hard anyway. Moving up to first position towards the high end of the harp, same thing applies. So if we think of the, the blow nine using this <gasps> um, tremolo vibrato, a bit of a contradiction there, but um, uh, that's how I'm going, you know, positioning it today. You, if you're blowing and using the same technique, <laughs> you get a <laughs> which is cool and you use that all the time. But if you use the technique I, I'm talking about today, using your jaw and your, your lips and tongue, you can produce um, a vibrato, which is an oscillation in pitch. To me, that's a lot sweeter sounding than. You can really make that um, you know, punch out and play around with it. Now, the advantage of this technique as well is that you don't lose that sweetness on the bends, so that note in Trust My Baby that Sonny Boy Williamson does and that Kim does in his slow blues solo sometimes, um, I certainly use it all the time. It's the same thing. So. So you can maintain that vibrato on the bend and you don't get that <gasps> choking sound. It's a lot smoother and sweeter you may find that useful in some situations. Um, as I said, as you learn the technique, you can really play around with it. You can bring it in very quickly or slowly um, and use it all over the place. and you can add a lot of sweetness to your playing um, by doing that. So this is a, a, an advanced technique and um, like all things to get really good at on all instruments can take a long time. I think often um, harmonica players can be a little unrealistic about how hard and how long these things take even though they sound pretty simple and straightforward. Um, this particular technique takes years um, to learn. Some of you may pick it up quickly, but to master it takes a very long time. And even when you've got it, your work is just beginning because like all of these things, you have to keep working and working and working and develop it. And it can take um, a long time, several years, um, to get the hang of it. And like I said, that's just the beginning. So it's a lifelong um, learning process. So I hope that's useful. That's um, advanced harmonica vibrato, particularly on bends, um, and the, the kind of sweet sound that you associate with people like Kim Wilson and Sonny Boy Williamson, not produced from the throat alone, but it uses the lips and the jaw. <laughs> So that's some uh, things to think about. I hope you find it useful and um, see you again. Thank you.